Hello, this is Anastasia. In this video, I will show you how to do sugar nail, secure skull and 3D roses. For sugar nail, we will need black background, so I applied first layer of gel polish already, cured it. Now I am applying second layer, which I need to cure as well in LED lamp for one minute. And now I am applying tech free top coat. You can use the one for gel polishes or traditional gel, it doesn't matter, and make sure you do not apply too much. We will need this pigment for creating a sugar nail and then we apply it on top and oh my god it actually does melt like a sugar and please note I do not cure the top coat it's still wet that's why we can create the sugar nail so make sure you apply this sugar all over the nail you can also dip it right in the jar and carefully remove the extra and then we need to cure it in LED for one minute. After curing we can remove the excess powder with a brush and this is what we have. We don't need to apply anything, we already have it sealed it with a top coat. For the ring finger and middle finger I decided to use gray color. I applied the first layer of gel polish, now I am applying second layer and after that I will seal it with a matte top coat. Now I am removing the sticky residue. Honestly, I am a big fan of matte gray nails, really like this look. And I decided to do index finger just glossy and black. So this is the base, the foundation, the background for our design. Now let's go to the design. I decided to decorate this nail with the roses, so I am using black acrylic. I also added a little of glitter in there and first I create a petal which looks like cross on, like a half moon. Also I am using triangle brush and pressing it all different directions and the tip of my brush it always looks in the center as you can see it never looks to the side so this is the simple rule for creating any kind of 3d flowers the tip of the brush should always look in the center of your flower black acrylic powder is one of the hardest to work with because it always leaves this spot so make sure you clean them now i'm taking the second bead and again i'm creating a half moon from it and place it into the opposite side of the previous one and again begin to press it. You need to start pressing it only when you see that it became matte. If it's still shiny there's no point of trying to make it a petal because it will always stick to your brush. So if you can see that it's still wet and shiny just wait a little bit. And also I decided to make these petals a little sharp in the corners. And also if you're struggling with creating 3D designs, you think that acrylic sets too fast, you can add a little glitter and it will actually help you to slow down the product. Now I'm adding another petal and it's okay if they're all with a different size because if you look at the real flowers, they are not actually quite perfectly symmetrical all the time. All petals might look a little different and it's fine. I mean, if you will do every single petal perfectly and they will be all the same, I think those flowers look like, you know, they are from the cake or something. They don't look real. Make them look more real, yes. I said that while doing a black rose. Oh well, now I take another bead and place it in the center and this is the most fun part I believe. Now we need to press it and create a circle or even if it broke like I just did it's fine and now we need to press it in a circled motions and it's really tricky to keep the tip of the brush in the center and you can also turn your client's finger around but you need to find a way. And also I'm cleaning the center because I want to leave a small spot there without the color. It will add a little depth 
to your flowers and I recommend to do it all the time when you're doing flowers on some background always leave a small spot of the background visible it will make them look more 3d because if you will add color everywhere it will look like you know you did this flower separately and then simply glued it to the nail and also it's really tricky when working on these small details you can also use brush number three or even number one it's the same but it's smaller and it's easier to work with the small details now i'm taking another bead and continue working on my roses I will show you an easier way now to create a rose. So you just take a bead, uh, pierce it right in the center and then carefully start pushing it in a circled motion. So we are creating the base of the flower right from one bead. This actually saves a lot of time and these roses will look a little different. They will be more like rounded and this is another way of creating roses i think it's really helpful when you don't really have much time or your clients is in a hurry now i take another bead place it in the center of the previous one and again continue to pierce it and then to press it do not use a wet consistency if you take a bead which is full of monomer you will need to wait pretty long until you can work with it. So make sure your beads are as dry as possible. And I think I need to add another rose to finalize the composition, but I don't want to do the whole rose. I will make like a half of it, like it's looking through it. So I will add one petal and again begin to press it. And remember the rule, the tip of the brush always looks in the center and if you will leave just one petal I think it, it looks not really like a flower so to make it look more natural I will add another bead to the side again create a half moon and you see I'm actually changing the position of finger of my client and it's fine feel free to do it because sometimes for some designs we need to and also I am placing a small bead in the center and once we create a um, center of our flower or at least a part of it it will actually look like a flower and I think we are almost done here and on the middle finger I will take a gel I'm using entity one gel or you can use any clear builder gel that you like and I'm trying to make an oval shape. This is the foundation for the skull. I'm going to apply here and I will use a crystal katana pickup tool to place it right here. And I will use the other side to carefully place it where I want it to be. I also need to press it slightly and then cure. I added some roses on top of the skull and now I am creating lines and filling them in like this is the chest mate. And as we have matte backgrounds and I am using Go Color by NSI, this is a tag free gel paint. I really like the look. As you can see the lines, they are starting to be dull to fade and for this design I think it's perfect it actually makes it look more spooky and I will do the same on the ring finger but on the opposite side first I will do the line then cross them over and then fill in some sections but you don't need to do it very accurately like I told you, for this design, it's actually even better if you leave some gaps, if you do it a little messy, because we're doing a Halloween style design. I'm using brush number zero. I think this is the perfect brush for lines and things like that. And also you don't have to fill them in perfectly like we do on a chest mace. I actually like it when they're messed up a little. And well, I will fill them in Make sure that the corners are full of color and then we cure and this is the result. Let me guys know what do you think. I 
hope that you liked this tutorial. If you did, do not forget to like this video and if you would like to see more tutorials in the future, do not forget to subscribe so you won't miss it. Thank you so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!